Hi all, it's Rich again. Um, so today I'm getting started on uh, repacking this bucket cylinder. Um, I think I had packed it, repacked it once before and the thing just started leaking again. This is the only, there's six cylinders on this thing. This is the one cylinder that's leaking still. So I'm going to tear it apart again and uh, see what's, see what's going on. Um, yeah, the wiper's already been pulled out. I don't know. So that's one thing that's wrong with it, but that don't really, pre that doesn't prevent it from leaking or anything. Um, so I'm going to, probably what I'll do is I'll, I'll do what I did last time disconnect this pin pull this plate these plates off and then just pull the rod out and leave this leave the cylinder on the tractor I think I found out that that was the easiest uh, last time I pulled the other one out and, got, and repacked that one no problem but this one the lines don't want to I don't want to end up breaking any fittings so we'll do it uh, on the tractor itself let's get started on this it's a nine sixteenths. If I can get all the leaks stopped on this machine, which this is the last leak, it's actually going to be much cheaper to operate this thing. And then the seal kit, the seal kit costs I think thirty one dollars, so. $31 versus what, I think a uh, five gallon pail of hydraulic oil, ISO 46 is, I'm trying to remember what I paid last time, 60 bucks, five gallon pail, I think. So, now let's go ahead and get those out. I thought those would have been a lot looser, a lot easier. Let's see if I can get these two out without damaging the thread. Oh, well, that that went easy. Okay, so now we're just going to take the pin out, and then I'll flip the thing up. Let's see, some these pins usually come out easy, but they don't go back in easy. There we go. Went easy. So now I'll just flip the cylinder up. Boy, that's heavy. There we go. There we have it. Take it down. So probably what I'll do now that the thing's flipped up, I'm not going to show this on camera because usually what I do is I stick a rod through the end of it and pull and twist on it until it comes out. So. Uh, it's usually about a half hour, 45 minutes of me struggling, so I'm not going to put that on camera. 
Okay, and we're back. I got the cylinder out. It wasn't that bad to do. What I, uh, what I did was I, I, I pounded on this with a hammer and it just sort of slowly came out. I think last time I used the forklift and I just pulled, pulled up on it. But, so now uh, the next thing I do is crack this nut because I need to be able to get this separated. Now that the pin's out, I can uh, try to crack that nut loose. Now, there's a lot of ways to do it. I don't like putting impact stuff on it. So usually what I do is I take a, a ratchet or, so probably a, a three quarter inch ratchet is hopefully good enough for this. Hopefully I don't break my ratchet. Then I put a long rod on it. Um, so we'll see. I don't know how many feet that is, probably 10, 12 feet. We'll see if it cracks loose or if I'm gonna struggle with this. Luckily I have a tractor hitch ball that works great. No, I think. that thing move. taken off and then we'll now the rest of it can be done on the bench where it's a little bit nicer to work okay so we're back we have the cylinder on the bench so I'm gonna start taking this thing apart um, I already got the nut off and so this should slide off well doesn't usually go that easy but um, and then I think this is the packing that's the suspect this all has to be you know suppressed together so when I, I think, I thought I had pulled this one apart before, but it's not really, these are the old rings. Guess I'm losing it. Um, that's probably why I have a, I actually have two seal packs on the shelf. Apparently I never repacked this one, or possibly I never repacked it. I probably pulled it apart and pulled the, and replaced, well I obviously didn't replace those rings. So, um, all the new rings are yellow, I think or in one of my kits. So I'm going to get this apart and uh, we're going to Okay, there we go. So, I'm not 100% sure if I replaced, I feel like I did something on this cylinder, right? I don't know. But it doesn't look like I did a full repack or anything. Probably because I got lazy, or I couldn't get that nut off maybe. Okay, so this here, it's had a ring in there. This is just a spacer. So, that's kind of odd. So this appears to be the full spacer. 
with the original oil seal. And it looks like it was a total of one point one and a half inches. Whoops. Uh, Oh, somebody did some work on this, and I don't know if it was me. Okay, so that's for this cylinder. It seems like I'm gonna have to see what I have in here because I've pulled apart one of these before. I'm guessing this is the other one though. Okay, so I have decided that I am not gonna replace all these seals because some of them are new. Um, what I think I found out happened, I must have taken this apart before. Okay, that, that's, there's some signs that I did. Um, now, I must have replaced these rings I did find a chewed up ring that I had replaced. So I'm not even gonna go ahead, I'm not even gonna open up the new seal kit and replace these things because I had it apart probably last year. Um, so what I found is that the aftermarket um, seal kit is not compatible with the spacers of the original cylinder. But that's in this case or the original spacers that were in the cylinder after somebody else repacked it. The machine's a 1980, so somebody else probably worked on it before me. I've had it since 2018, um, September 21st or 22nd, something like that. So, um, so now that, so I have the new oil seal in there. Everything fits together nice and tight. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then uh, hopefully I'll have a machine that doesn't leak. Now, <clears throat> so I guess one thing that, I guess the, the moral of the story here is that um, with, the, with the replacement seal kits, you can see that there is some possible, um, you know, this is the sealing for this here and it just doesn't fit with the original machine. Um, as intended so uh, and then again another thing that these things are these seal kits could be universal for a lot more kits you know a lot more cylinders and so every once in a while you'll have leftover parts <clears throat> no big deal really I've got a wiper in there that that's fine I've got a finally this seal in here is good and tight um, I didn't have that before I did away with most of the spacers um, so I got rid of that much um, spacers, that many spacers. So that's about three quarters of an inch, and that was affecting the ceiling there. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and put this thing back together um, before I do any more damage to it, I guess. And then uh, we'll see if it, I doubt, uh, the thing I doubt is going to leak anymore. Um, before, most of the leaking occurred when the machine was not running, so that tells you that there was a very bad, you know, seal and it was leaking in here it was leaking well there's a seal on the other side of this uh um this this plate here so um and that should be let me take this apart so you can see it that's the new seal in there if you can see it so fits tight so that's a good sign and it also has these new seals like this one here this one has a built-in wiper so that's kind of nice. So it's it's got a two, it's got a it's got a wiper in there, and then it's got a wiper up here. Um, of course, the the new the new wipers that come with it don't fit, so can't use them. So I guess um, so. Hopefully, uh, I'm gonna put this back together. Um, I'm gonna just uh, you know put this ring back on or this uh, valve back on, and then put the nut back on. And then I'm going to go and resert it back into the, into the uh, cylinder. 
Hopefully this fixes the problem. I found a smoking gun. It's incompatible with the new seal kits. Um, there is also another thing that I can uh, warn you guys about repacking um, old cylinders is there's usually some damage to the cylinder, right? You're going to see if somebody else repacked it at one time, there's going to be score marks. Now, another thing that to watch, and this is, um, and this is a serious thing, is that sometimes the rod itself is pitted. Like you can see in there that, I mean, the rod's pitted a little bit right there. See the rod's pitted. Now, I actually haven't had any problems with the pitting actually causing it to leak. Um, I thought I was going to have it because this, this one's actually not that bad, but my, one of my boom cylinders is really, really bad. Um, and I'm surprised. I repacked that thing. It worked great. No problems. I haven't had it. It doesn't leak at all. So, um, so sometimes, I mean, if you can go and get these things resurfaced, you're in a better position anyways, because the worst case, the, the best thing that this score mark can do is chew up that new seal I put in. Um, I do not have... Uh, I'm not going to get this one resurfaced. I may try to search to, you know, wait, try to find something on Craigslist or something like that, just a replacement cylinder. But at this point, if it doesn't leak, I don't, I don't care. Right? As long as it's, it doesn't leak and it's got plenty of power, I'm good with it. So... Um, Hopefully this uh, helps somebody out. Um, I'm going to throw this back in the tractor. And um, so if you like these videos, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, that's it for now, guys.